This week's a really short week, so there's only a day and a half which I'm able to work on this project. Um, the things that I really would love to get done is making Yinjim out. And I was hoping to do that in hmm, a pretty cool way, so that it's not your usual way of fitting an engine onto a go-kart like this. And then this thing needs a break, because I think that's at least a bit safe to do. <laughs> knowing that it will get some horsepower to use. So we'll see how far we come. Let's go. The idea is to use this piece of solid steel and turn this into some engine clamps. So I need two of them. So first things first, cut them in half. Or cut them in half, cut them in two pieces. Then get a 20 millimeter hole in them so that I'm able to tension the chain. And what that will do is it will give me some room to tension the chain. Ooh, looks cool, right? Let's go. What I did is I flattened them top as well as bottom so that they're exactly the same size. Then made two 20 millimeter holes in both of them so that these fit exactly fine. What will happen when I'm going to drill them, I will place them on top with just a bit of tube inside of them so that the holes will be in exactly the same spot on both. So if I swap them out later, that, that won't be a problem. So this will get back into the mill, I will drill some holes, then get some thread in two of them and the top two will just the ones where the bolt goes through, or maybe the bottom ones, we'll see. So yesterday's supposed to be a full day of work, but early morning I got a call, or late morning I got a call, and uh, we had a really cool opportunity, so I was hooked on that. Um, I had to arrange some things for that, and, and that journey is something that I will show you guys later, because I'm not allowed to tell anything about it, so it's top secret, <laughs> but it's insanely cool. But it slowed me down in the work, so the only thing that I was able to get done is this. These tubes need to be longer. These will mount over them. So front engine mount, rear engine mount, and then when it's mounted, I'm able to loosen the bolts and just slide it forward or slide it backwards. It's the same setup as a go-kart setup. I made these look pretty nice, as always, you know. This hole needs to be drilled a little bit bigger, but apart from that, they are almost done. And then after that, I will have a mount that will fall over this, so that it's not able to rotate anymore, and then I'm able to bolt it on. The reason behind that is when I want to place in a different engine on the go-kart, which may happen, I don't know, then I'm just able to refabricate the top mounts instead of refabricating all of the mounts. So just a little bit thinking ahead. I thought I needed to take apart the complete cases and then when I looked properly that is just not needed because the extra was able to go right through it because there is not a bearing inside. So whoops, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I'm just able to slide this one over. I don't know if that will be done by one. There we go, cool. So this is <coughs> where we should line up the rear sprocket on the rear axle so now we have something to go off to work off so as i've already told that this week was a really short one and yesterday it became even shorter um, i had to do some or i got asked for some product development testing for a motocross ecu so that's what i did but it almost cost me a full day it was a fun thing to do no worries about that but I think the only thing that I will get done this week is the fabrication of the engine mounts. Um, but yeah, and then there's a little change of plans because I will put the go-kart aside for a second and get the mini crosser back onto the table. The reason why is because there's another thing that I will have to complete can't tell anything about it, uh, but you guys will see this in around half of December. 
it's a really cool project and I will travel some distance for that oh, later more on that but the reason why I will switch between the power wheels and the mini bulb is because end of December we will travel to Spain to have two weeks off um, and my sister will do a lot of motocross riding and since I'm able to ride in Spain on any kind of bike I would love to have the mini build completed and take it with me to have some riding time over there and shoot some really cool footage and content for you guys so that's the reason behind it but for now we will move on making these engine mounts and then get the power wheels off the table and get a mini mill back on so that's what's happening right now and to give a little insight and what's going on here is i've made these which will clamp onto a tube of 20 millimeters the ball is falling in nicely so it will only be about four or five millimeters lower than the actual chassis which is normal on a go-kart which is even less than a normal go-kart so that's perfect but the next thing to do is already already notched these tubes this one will slide over there and then this one will slide over here in the corner distances will be exactly the same i will leave this open maybe i'll need these points later on to mount the body but that's for later i'm always able to cap this off with a nice aluminium cap so that's not a problem oh and then one little detail i'm super artistically so what i did is i tapped two little holes in them it's a one one so this is a pair in this direction so that i will not turn them around of course it's possible because i've measured it in the middle but it's just my artistically brain that says that this is the best way to go and then on the other pair i obviously oops made two little holes <laughs> yep that's me and then we have a completely functioning engine mount of course this needs an extra mount on top towards the engine as well as the front one but what's the most important is that these are able to slide over so that I don't need a chain tension so the tire will come to around here I think there's still a little bit of space and maybe even the kickstarter is no the kickstarter won't work I think but that's it for this week guys um, it's not as much as usual but there were just some things which started rolling so that's pretty cool and later on you guys will see what I was talking about but I know for a fact that it gets pretty cool so don't forget to subscribe and like the video thanks guys until next week Ooh.